After giving the infant a 5.30 a.m. feed in their lounge, David Hulley, age 25, dozed off and sat up in the settee with four-week-old Carson Winter Hulley snuggled up to him. Although when Mr. Hulley of Stockport, Greater Manchester, woke up at 7.30 a.m., he was genuinely shocked. We'll find out the entire story by the end of the video, but first, like and share it with others, and make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell turned on. Despite repeated attempts by doctors to revive him, the infant died in hospital. The tragedy on June 24th was described by the coroner as every parent's worst nightmare. According to the experts, they were unable to determine why the baby died. Carson's mother, Beverly Winter, age 24, had a difficult pregnancy with him, and he was born in May weighing 5 pounds and 5 ounces. Doctors, on the other hand, reported no apprehensions, continuing to follow his birth. They both loved Carson, said Mrs. Hulley, a fire and security engineer at the Stockport hearing. Beverly had a difficult pregnancy with Carson, and his long bones were shorter than they should have been. Due to the fact of how it was handled, they were concerned. Although the midwife was a bull in a china shop, once they saw a doctor, they felt much better, and they simply stated that he was a small child. Beverly had him at a young age, and they brought him home, and he was doing great. A few days before he died, he had a stuffy cold, but it didn't bother him too much. It irritated him. That was the extent of it, and he was an excellent feeder. He was on pills and enjoyed his meals. Although his sleeping patterns were inconsistent, but he appeared to be in good health. He seemed a little clingy the night before he died, but they didn't investigate further. They haven't given it much thought since he died and had him sleep in a cot next to them in the bedroom. Beverly helped him up to his cot and he slept soundly. At around 5.30, he awoke requesting to be picked up. He was also good at letting her know that he wanted when he wanted it and actually he wasn't crying in an unusual way, so she picked him up and took him downstairs where he requested a feed. She placed him on the sofa among the cushions to keep him safe while she prepared a bottle. Then she went back into the room and sat down with him. While the bottle warmed up, she consoled him and couldn't stop admiring and marveling at him. He fell asleep on the sofa and she also fell asleep next to him. His skin tone wasn't that of a living person. He was warm, but she was thinking everything she could think at the time and she thought he was cute when she looked at him. For a brief moment, she didn't want to bother him, but she was curious to see if there was a twitch or something. He, on the other hand, did not. So she dashed upstairs and told Beverly that she thought something was wrong with him. Beverly even tried kissing his lips, but she didn't get any response. They summoned an ambulance and they attempted to revive him. Melanie Newbold, a pathologist, gave her inconclusive results and said he was a small baby for his age. He had no external injuries or marks and appeared to be completely normal. And he also had symptoms of a common cold, but he remained healthy until his death. Adults sleeping on a sofa or bed can be dangerous, but the cause is not always known. They had nothing to be concerned about, according to Detective Inspector James Jenkins, who investigated Carson's death. It was clear that the address belonged to a loving, warm family. There were a lot of toys and pictures all over the place. A milk bottle had to be removed from the fridge and placed in a jug of water, as characterized. In their bedroom, there was a cot to the side of the bed and another child's bedroom, which was a lovely child's bedroom. There was nothing in the speech that made me nervous. According to a narrative verdict, there was nothing suspicious about his death. Mr. Much was informed by coroner Allison Much, as the evidence showed how much he was wanted as a child and how much he was loved. She heard professional testimony about his brief existence. Sadly, this is especially true in children under the age of 12 months. There is a percentage of children who die suddenly and without warning, for which no tests have been developed. The pathologist was required to state that the cause of death had been determined. Carson died of an inexplicable short and sudden death, which is a risk in young babies and children. It's a terrible tragedy to lose a child in this situation. It's true that some babies die unexpectedly and no one is held responsible. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure your browser's notification bell is turned on. Hopefully, you'll keep it in mind at all times.